Hey y'all, it's Joe, just Joe, and I'm here today with another video. I'd like to do today makeup products that I forgot about or that got stuck in the back of my drawer and I didn't know they were there, or just things that I've just not used in a while. I got this idea from Paige Corinne. Um, I'll try to link her channel down below if I can find that video. And if you like this type of video, please like, comment, and subscribe. And let's just get into the video. So this video is going to be from start to finish, face, face, everything to eyeshadow. So you might want to grab a snack and a drink. It might be a little longer than my usual. So my first product that I forget about is my Kula uh, Primer. It's the classic primer with SPF 30. I, I like this primer, but I put it back to save since it does have sunscreen benefits. But because I save it, it got in the back of my drawer and I forgot all about it. I really like it. has a really nice fresh scent. It's not overpowering. And again, I like it for the SPF benefits. Now, I do go in with a normal SPF when I do my skincare, but I figure any little bit helps. I really don't need it today because we're under a flash flood warning, but it is the one primer that I've forgotten about the most. Now, for my foundation, it's kind of shocking because it's one of my favorites. It's the Hourglass Stick Foundation in Warm Beige. I don't know why I forget about this. I don't attempt to save it for special days. I think because I put it in my foundation drawer and the size of it, it just gets pushed back by the larger ones. And then I always forget to use my Becca Under Eye Brightening Corrector. I don't know why I forget to use it. Just one of those products. So I'm going to go in with the Under Eye Corrector. Just to get rid of those pesky circles. I do have insomnia, so I do normally have dark and, uh, and under circles. So, this brightener helps a lot, and I'm going to try to leave it on my makeup desk so that I don't forget about it anymore. Now, as far as makeup brushes, I'm just going to be using my normal but I do have a makeup sponge that I tend to forget about, um, and there's a reason. It's the Real Techniques sponge. I just find it kind of awkward to use since it's a circle. So it ended up in the bottom of, I got a little bowl with all my blenders, and it ended up at the bottom. So let's go in with this foundation. Gonna swipe it all over, and it's a touch deeper than I normally would go just because it was my summer shade. But we can fix it. So let's blend that out. And once it's blended out, because I like to shear it out, it can be sheared out and it can go pretty full coverage. So, once I blend it out pretty sheer, it's not too dark. Most people I know really love this foundation and I happen to be one of them, but there are a few people that say with dry skin, they don't like this foundation. I do have combination skin. It's dry around my nose and my mouth. And sometimes even my the inside of my eyelids or with eczema. 
I don't seem to have a problem with this foundation. But again, I don't usually wear it really full coverage and I don't know if maybe that's the issue. It actually isn't too bad of a match, even though it's just a hint dark. If my neck wasn't so red, it would probably be pretty close. The sponge ain't as bad as I remember. I really like the finish of this foundation. I'll go ahead and get my ear since it is a little bit off. I don't usually put foundation on my ears if my foundation is a good match, but when it's a little off, I like to go ahead and do my ears. Okay. And then for my cream bronzer, I always forget that I have this. It's the Hula uh, Quickie Contour Stick. I actually really like this stick. I don't think people talk about it enough. This is the packaging. I really enjoy the color. If you like the Hula powder, I do think you'd like the cream stick if you're in the cream products. And then we're just going to blend that out also with the sponge. And I like to blend my cream bronzers up. And into the hairline. When I do bronzer on the nose, I do like to, you know, make my nose look a tad skinnier, but I do like to do a bit on top too, because the sun would hit you there. And of course, I blend my neck downward. I'm going to put that on my ears. And I like the glow that it gives to you. It's a nice glowy bronzer. And one, this is actually one of my favorite cream blushes. And I think because of the size of how flat it is, it goes toward the bottom and it ends up sliding toward the back. It's the Lime Crime Digital Peach Software Blush. I like to warm this up on my finger. It's a like if you go right in with a brush it's kind of hard so I like to go in my finger first and then dab it everywhere I like blush and then I'll go in with my beauty blender as soon as I put on makeup something always has to itch ready to mess my makeup up And I also always do my nose. And I have a little left over, so I'll put that on my forehead where the sun would hit. I have a towel that's happening, so I'm not wiping it on my shirt or pants. I have shirts that are just old and have paint or work shirts or whatever. And a lot of times I just wear them and wipe everything right on them trying to get out of that habit, but well, it's just an old shirt that you're just going to throw in the wash that you don't care much about. It doesn't seem like that big of a problem. So, again, it's got a nice glow. And the next item, I don't think I've ever used. I, I don't even know if it's the right shade. 
And this is the Iconic Drops I got from Boxy in the original. I am going to dab a tiny bit on the back of my hand. This is probably, one drop is probably going to be too much. And then I'm going to use my blender to blend that in to the high points of my cheek. Just dab, dab, dab. And see. Well, it's not too dark. I've been missing out on this because I thought it was too dark. I find, now that I've gotten to doing makeup quite a bit, that how liquid highlighters a lot of times can look too dark and they're perfectly fine to use. Dab, dab, dab. It just gives a soft glow. I bet if you went in with more, it could really glow. But I also use a powder highlighter, so it'll be fun. Yeah, that's nice. I like that. And then I'm going to go in with some uh, powder products. This product I used to love, the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. But I did hear that they are no longer cruelty free. I'm trying really hard to go cruelty free. I'm not saying all my products are. Um, I am switching over. So I am trying to use up the non cruelty products. And this one just got pushed to the back when I found out. It made me really sad. I do like Physicians Formula a lot. And I need to research it more to make sure that that was correct, but somebody told me that I trust, so, but this bronzer is so pretty, and it smells like coconut, or the, like a tanning lotion when you go to the beach, it's great, I love the smell, I'm just gonna do it everywhere I did the cream, to set the cream, And again, I'm just using whatever brushes that I would normally use because I don't really have like old brushes that I don't use anymore. I do like to go with a little bit darker bronzer nowadays. So I'm going to have to put a little bit more of this than usual on. I don't know if putting more on is going to help or not, but I think we're good to go on that. And then this, I just got to the bottom of the drawer, no reason. I actually like this. It's the Morphe Blushing Babes Papa Peach Trio. It's got Rouge. Or, well, that's not, it just says Papa Peach. I guess they're not separate names but actually i really like this one this is what the colors look like i'm just gonna go in with a fluffy brush um i'll go in with this fluffy brush and i am going to go into the names are on the inside creator and maker i'm just gonna mix those two together is some fallout that doesn't bother me or kick up I should say not fallout I'm just setting the cream blush that I put on earlier I love blush I usually put on too much I'm trying to hold back a little bit I noticed some of my videos I am really blushed up <laughs> And then I always do some on my forehead. I 
you know, I'm going to tip on my nose. I'm just going to use the center peach color creator. So that's the blush part. Then I'm going to go in with a powder highlighter. And I always forget that I have this loose powder by Anastasia. And it is called So Hollywood. And I'm just going to tap into that with my highlighter brush. And put it on the hot points of my cheeks. And it's got a really good glow to it. And down the bridge of my nose. Cross my cupid's bow, my chin here. I always find that loose highlighters really give an amazing glow. And this is actually something that's newer to the collection. I just keep forgetting about is my freckle pen. I do have natural freckles, so. And, but with the foundation, I cover it up. And the pen looks like this. It's by Lime Crime. And I've got the color. Let me check for you guys. Coco. It itches back. And I'm just going to put some across the bridge of my nose. If they're a little too dark, all I do is press with my finger to lighten them up a little bit. And I just like to get a few across each side of my face, just like my regular freckles would be. And I do have some freckles that go up. So I try to put the freckle in everywhere that I have natural freckles. So, I don't know if you can see that on camera, but they're there, I promise. And so, that's my base. I am going to use my number seven mineral water spray. I always forget about this. Um, when my husband was at Walgreens, he got me this. And it's the tallest one, so it goes in the back. And I always forget to use it. And then after I spray, I like to bounce everything into place. And so now we can work on to the eyes. So as far as my brows go, I've got this ox eye pen that is actually tinted kind of the wrong color, but I'll show you. And my Anastasia pen, I'll, I'll, I've kind of moved on to other ones, so I always forget about my brow wheels. And this Anastasia brow gel, I, I don't really like, and it makes me forget about 
this brow gel that's clear that I do like. So we're going to go in with these products real quick. I'm just going to comb the brows up. And this pen is one of the pen that has three prongs. I don't know if you can tell, but there is, it looks like there's a green tint. And that's why this pen got forgot about. So I am going to put a few flicks of this in just so that I have used it. Like I said, the reason why this has been forgot about is the color is way off and after a couple uses, it, it, the powder that's on your brows makes it dry up. Just going into my sparse areas. Okay. And then I'm just going to use gel, the clear gel that. I forget, I always think it's the tinted one, so I don't use it. And then my little brow whiz that's almost out, it looks like. And I'm just using that to fill in. I don't do a whole lot of my brows anymore. I just kind of let them be as natural as possible. I just like to fill in holes and even them out. And then, I actually like this face. I want it in a giveaway. It's Luscious Angel Eyes. But I have so many bases that this got shoved to the back. I'm going to put a dab on my finger, blend that over the eye. I actually really like this base, and I'm going to try to leave it on the desk also because I don't want it to expire. It's very creamy, and that's why I like it. Got a little too much, wipe that off. And then pat that down. I did forget to grab my powder. I'll grab that really quick. The Stay Matte NYX Translucent. How, I think it's translucent. No, Creamy Natural. And I'm just going to put a little bit over the eye base. And we're going to get on to the eyes, and we will be done. So, the eyeshadows I forget about are these little ones by Smashbox, the cover shots. I don't know if it's because they're so small that they're hard to see, but we're going to use these today. And since I have on a minty color top, 
I think I am going to go with the Palms Eye Palette, which has these beautiful pink and that beautiful mint shade. So I'm just going to take a small brush and go right in to that mint color. And there it is, some kick up. Now I'm just going to do a simple eye look today. I'm just going to fill that in. In the crease and above. I'm going to do that to both eyes. I'm just using circular motions. And I'm going to go mainly in with this shade and then just put a shimmer on the mobile eyelid. Just kind of blow this shade out. Then I'm going to go in. That shade is called Palm Print. And then I'm going to go into 72 and Sunny, this shimmer up here. It's a pink shimmer. And I'm going to just put that on the three fourths of the inner side of the lid. with my finger. I'm going to take that green shade on the same brush and just blow out this outer corner. Go in about halfway. And the same on this eye. Then I'm going to take a brush and go into this light pink here, which is Froyo. And I'm going to go into the inner half of under the eye. And then I'm going to take that pink 72 and sunny again and go right into that inner corner. All right, like I said, just a simple little look at that. Grab my mascara. This is the Unique Moonstruck. Epic 40. I'm not really into my limbs, but a friend gave me this and I put it in the back of my drawer. I might as well use it. So let's see what the deal is with this.
and the bottom lashes. It's actually not a bad mascara. It's the first time I've used it. So let's get these lips done and we'll be done. So I, I, I haven't even used this. This is the ColourPop lipstick. ColourPop just a tint and then the Sephora lip gloss. Um, I just, they got stuck in the back and I really haven't used them for a while. So this is the Cookie Matte. I'm going to go in with that. Oh, this is a pretty color. It's a nice nude. I am going to go on the outer edges with this lip. Crayon, just a tint. I don't see a name on it. Oh, here it is. The Go Go. Just for a little ombre effect. Then I'm going to put the Fuchsia Fiesta lip gloss on top. I actually really like Sephora's lip glosses. And there you have it. So this is a look with all the products that I forgot about or got pushed to the back of the drawers. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I love you guys. Stay safe. Make good decisions. And I hope you have a great day. Bye, guys.